What's up guys, Ewan here and welcome to another Liverpool news update video. Uh, well, podcast, there's no video involved. So, But today we're going to be talking about the, the fact that Mateus Nunez has officially agreed, or Wolves and Sporting Lisbon have officially agreed a £38 million fee for him, which makes him the most expensive player. Player BBC reporting 38 million, uh, Sky Sports reporting 42.5 million. Be aware, it's around that mark. Imagine it's fees and etc. So, do you think Liverpool need to sign a midfielder in this transfer window? I officially think they do. After last night's performance, we lacked legs, we lacked creativity, and we just lacked a lot in midfield. We seem to be struggling to even get the ball to the front three. Um, so many injuries, ageing midfielders, I mean Henderson's in his 30s, Milner's in his late 30s, Thiago's in his 30s, Fabinho's nearly 30, and then we've got young players like Elliot and Carvalho who are still growing. So in this video guys we'll be talking about my points of view on what we need and also other Liverpool transfer, well Liverpool news from last night's fallout against Crystal Palace. But basically, Fabrizio Romano has claimed that Wolves have agreed personal terms and a fee with Mateus Nunez and Sporting Lisbon for the Portuguese midfielder to move to Wolves. And I'm really disappointed because he's seen like a player we really needed. He has, he's young, he's athletic, he's fairly tall, at one, about six foot, so... It's a shame. Um, the Sport Bible uh, claimed that Liverpool decided against making offer for Nunez. Um, I don't really know why. I find it find it a bit odd. It's not really that much, is it? Thirty eight million. Um, it's a real shame because we're just crying out for a midfielder. We need young blood in midfield. We're so lightweight in there. We have no one to bring on when we you know when we go behind. We brought on Carvalho. Um, who's still developing? Um, I mean, he should have maybe scored that volley he had, which was a shame when it came down on his left foot and he put it into the cop. So it's a shame. I just think Mateus Nunes would have been such a beast. Um, it's just 23 years old, um, but it looks like Wolves are going for him, which is a real shame. But we just move on to the next target. And now we're going to talk about Darwin Nunez's red card, which he got when he headbutted Joachim Anderson. Uh, and this is Anfield report that Joachim Anderson knew he got under Darwin Nunez's skin before he reacted. So he obviously, well, was probing him, probably saying things, uh, you know, tussling with him, pulling him. Um, so Nunez needs to learn from that. Because in the Premier League, you obviously can't get away with that. Um, it's a real shame because I think we would have gone on and won the game. Um, if he'd stayed on the pitch, I think we would have scored. Uh, and the momentum with him in the box. Uh, you know, the, it was written in the stars, Nunez to get his home debut winner at Anfield. Um, but the big news is, is he going to get a four-match ban instead of a three-match ban if they deem it violent conduct, the Premier League, that is? Um... I mean, Gary Neville after the game said it was just a red mist, and it every player we've all done it. We don't know why we did why we did it, um, which is understandable. I've played football, you know, you you just lash out, you, and you think, why would I do that? Um, and he obviously, I think, thought that he, he knew he, he was in the wrong when he, you know, didn't want to go off the pitch. I think he was ashamed, but he'll learn from this. Um, he's obviously a talent. No one can deny that. What a player! He always, I mean, he was making a difference. He was tussling with the defenders up there. Um, I mean, they couldn't really handle him. Um, yes, he should have maybe scored just before half time, but but yeah, it's what it is, guys. You know, we just have to move on. You know, we have to keep thinking. You know, is Firmino going to be back? Uh, is Jota going to be back soon? So we just have to keep believing in our in our team. We are Liverpool. You know, we have to. We've been through tougher moments in this. Uh, look at the time we had Bolotelli and Lambert up front and Markovic, you know. Uh, we got through that and ended up, obviously, Rodgers leaving. But, you know, we've been through tougher times in this. 
as far as I'm concerned, we just need to get a midfielder, a young midfielder, because obviously they're waiting for Bellingham for next summer. Um, but for now, we just need another young midfielder, because I think Belling, Bellingham could come in and with another midfielder, like Nunez. Nunez and Bellingham and Fabinho, or Henderson in midfield. So, that's all we, we just need one signing. That's all we need. And everyone's about this doom and gloom. We just need one signing. I just think there's still time in this chance to win, though. Because um, I think the owners would have taken note of that performance with the midfield uh, yesterday. Because we played well. Uh, but the midfield, I think, let us down. Elliot played well. But, you know, we move on. And there's a bit of news of Joachim Anderson. Apparently, after the game, he got a lot of abuse uh, from Liverpool fans um, sent to him. Uh, and he's just shared that with the Liverpool Echo. It's on their website, so check that out. Um, apparently, he's subjected to hundreds of messages of abuse of the 1 1 draw. We don't condone that. Uh, and as Paul Machen said off the Bedman TV, he said it could have been any player. You know, he didn't really do anything wrong. You know, dark arts of football. Every player's done it, and I always think if that was, um, I don't know, Maguire on Firmino next Monday, head butted Firmino. You know, you want Maguire sent off. So I think it's just it's obviously it's Nunez's fault, guys. You can't deny that it, it's his fault. He'll learn from it. Um, that's basically it, really. But. But to wrap this little podcast up, if you like, um, it's looking like Nunez is, uh, Mateus Nunez is going to Wolves. I've heard, I've seen some Liverpool fans say, you know, yes, let's act, let's act quickly and get him now, like we did with Luis Diaz. But I think the real fact is Liverpool are interested in him, um, as James Pearce said. I just don't think they're in the market uh, for Nunez. They, they've obviously got targets. Um, you know, we've heard the Inter Milan player Brozovic, is it, the Croatian? Um, but again, he's 29. So I don't really know where that's come from. The, the owners don't buy 29-year-olds, except from Thiago. So let me know what you think, guys. Do we need a midfielder? I think we do. Uh, and if so, who would you go for? And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.